It's a good, strong name of a very talented artist. The name that we haven't heard in a while. And uh, I ran it by George and George is like, I love it. Sniffers and flighters. Okay, so guess where we're going. I'm sure you know where we're going. If you don't know where we're going, you gotta go back right now before you miss all the reveals and you get a spoiler. All right, guys. Hello, my name is Marlene McCohen and I am here to make you love birds. Love birds, you say? What the heck? Trust me, if you like animals at all, you're gonna love what I'm about to show you. If you haven't been with me in the last couple of episodes, you definitely wanna go Go back because this is totally gonna ruin the surprise so pause this go back like three videos and then see what's gonna happen all right so here's the thing we're about to go see a baby birdie and I hope they don't close before I get there I had to go mail something to Ireland for my mother yeah cuz they live in Ireland cuz they like abandoned us I'm not kidding you these people aka my parents they like just randomly start a new life in different countries like their whole life so now they live in Ireland they claim it's because we didn't give them grandchildren so they're just going over there and waiting but I think they just like had this master plan to kind of like have kids and then just move back there without us and like leave us here and then they could be together forever how they want without children not a bad plan actually so I don't know why they'd want our kids because then it would be like babyhood all over again think about that mom just think about it like aren't you having a life right now. All right, and speaking of babies, I'm gonna go see my mom's new grand fit, meaning, you know, feathered kid, which I'm sure she's gonna be more than thrilled about. Although my dad did like spend an hour on the phone with me throwing out like a hundred potential names, like really funny ones, like Jamal and Abdul and all sorts of stuff. Everything to like Renaissance painters and like all sorts of cool things, but also so like, I don't know, funny names. I should probably read you guys a list. But before we go on, let's do some shout outs. Okay, so I got some new flighters that I wanna shout out. Riley Miller, welcome to the Flighters Club. We are united, <laughs> but we are united. We all love birds. And Shelby Morandin, ooh, she's gonna get some exclusive footage. I like that. Wendy Cottingham, I love you, Wendy. You're always such an amazing supporter. Holly Martino, Christopher Savage, good last name. Patrick Williams, I love you guys. You all the best. Okay, if you guys want any shout outs, don't forget to check out my Patreon, become a flighter. It's really cool, you guys get early videos. Sometimes I have these videos up like five days early. I tell you all my secrets early. So like when I posted a picture of this mustache parakeet and like a video and you guys were on Instagram, like, are you gonna get it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Like right away, everyone in my flighters club knew. Okay guys, traffic man, Los Angeles. Let's see, I can't wait to get there. Guys, this is just the traffic to get off the highway. Just when you think you want to move to Los Angeles, you probably shouldn't, honestly. Like if I was in any other city right now, this would be four minutes away, I'm not kidding you. I'm having so much anxiety because like I thought I'd at least get there in a decent time that's not awkward to ask them to pull out the bird, but I don't think that's gonna happen right now. Okay, let's see if they're nice and let me. Uh, like five minutes, please. What's up? I know it's late, but can I see the baby? You know what? I was gonna call. I got stuck in so much traffic. He, he just ate. Ah. I'm doing my yeah, Okay, you know what? It's okay. Let me see if we can put him in a box. I tried, but I got him. Stop! Seriously, he just ate. I'm depressed. You won't recognize him. No, what, that's last time you saw him was last time? Yeah, like he, I need to see him because he's getting bigger. You will recognize him. Where is he? What? Where? Over there. Standing? Yeah. No, you have to let me see him. Do you see him? How is he like that big already? I know. He's growing fast. What? He's already like cleaning. <laughs> I don't get to see him. Oh my God, he's so cute. Look how big he is. Come here, can you can you go in there and get a close up of him? I need a close up of him. This doesn't, like, like look, look, this doesn't catch anything. You want me to go in there and get Yeah, a, go in there and get a picture. Get money or huh? I'm getting paid too for this. Get in there. 
He's got a big head now. Okay, so I couldn't see the bird, but you guys got to see the bird. Obviously, I'm gonna come down here tomorrow. I'm gonna go look at the footage right now and see if I could see this bird. See what he looks like. That was funny. It was totally the wrong bird. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna look at the footage and then see what my reaction is. Oh my god, I just saw the bird. That makes so much more sense. I'm like, how's the bird just like perching like that in like two days? There's no way. But oh my god, what a beauty, right? Okay guys, I want to talk to you about the name. I kind of came up with the name. I didn't run it by my sister, but George really likes it. So I want to tell you the story. So Picasso was named after the painter Picasso because I like Picasso as an artist and I've always kind of painted and drawn my whole life. That's really why I love to promote artists and talented people that I meet that are sniffers and try and work with you guys to do cool things because I admire art a lot and you guys are so much more talented than I ever was but you know I really just enjoyed art as a kid. But like if you asked me when I was a kid what I was gonna be like like one of the things was gonna be like an artist. But um, when I got older, like I always have carpal tunnel, my wrists hurt. That's why sometimes I'm not so good at responding cause just like my wrists hurt like typing. Okay, I digress. So here's the thing. So I named Picasso Picasso because I was at a point in my life back then that I wanted to create more. And I thought like if I name him something, you know, some people get tattoos to like remind them of something in their life that they are passionate about. So that's how I named my birds or something that's personal to me. So Picasso, I named him after the painter because I wanted to be inspired to paint again. And actually I did paint a little bit when I got Picasso. I made all these abstract things because I love abstract. So yeah, hence the name Picasso. Vinny is named after the movie My Cousin Vinny because I love making movies and I think that's one of the best movies in the world. So Vinny is named after that, something that's really enjoyable. The birds that come to me that like I don't know their name because they were found those are the ones I named the other birds I don't really rename because I mean you know they know their name and it must have a meaning so Jersey because I'm from New Jersey so that's what Jersey is all about. You guys know why I named Leo Leo because I'm a Leo, George is a Leo, and like I'm very passionate about being a Leo because like there is no Leo in the world that's not passionate about being a Leo. There's no Leo in the world that doesn't believe in star signs and I'll tell you why because like the first thing it says about your character is like you are the king of the jungle. You are egotistical and then like Leos are so egotistical that when it says they're the king of the jungle they're like yes I am. So they're always very proud of their sign. Not that I'm egotistical, by the way, because like it, to get deep into this, if you're good with your powerful signs, you have to own them kind of like a king or a queen and give that power to other people. But anyway, okay, that's how I name my animals. Our dogs also were already named because the rescues. Starbucks was named Starbucks and that's why she's here because uh, Starbucks gets me going. You guys know how I love that. So um, her name saved her. So I have a name. And and I just wanted it to come to me and I wanted it to come because of a reason, something that was important in my life. And I was trying to find out like, you know, maybe an artist I admired in any field and it just, it just didn't come to me. And then I just waited for it to send itself to me. And today I started a new acting class and I haven't been in acting class in a while. And I was kind of like nervous about starting. I'm not really a nervous person in terms of like going to a class or anything, but I was nervous in the fact that I've been very focused on YouTube and YouTube has turned into something more than I ever thought it would be. So I've been turning myself into someone that's like running a little bit of a production company, right? Like I gotta make these videos, I gotta get them out and then comes with that a business and merchandising and all these things and like really focusing on you guys and responding. So to me, it's like, well, I already have my own show, but but I love acting and so I decided that I've been really great at organizing ever since like you guys have done this for me I'm not kidding you like because I have to show up to the plate and like deliver videos like my life is getting a lot more structured than it used to be so I decided this opportunity arised and so I'm taking this class with James Kahn and uh, Val Lauren very
very amazing, talented actors. And then when I was sitting in class today, I went right back to this is where I'm supposed to be. Like, I love this. I'm enjoying this. Like, just the work. Like, the work of acting and, like, you know, just the work of it. And, like, the reading of plays and, like, the hard work that goes with it. And then it occurred to me, I think I want to name the bird Brando. It's a good, strong name of a very talented artist. A name that we haven't heard in a while. And uh, I ran it by George and George is like, I love it. And just, like, that time in my life where, like, okay, this is what I'm focused focusing on as well now like we went back to this and these are the works that I need to be researching and looking at again and movies that I need to be watching and so I think at this time I think that's a really cool name like I just want to run it by my sister and see what she says I don't even know if she knows anything about Brando but uh I think it's kind of cool you know like because Picasso was a sniffer and also named after somebody that was supposed to inspire me to work on something that I liked working on. So Brando would inspire me to continue to work and research and like just hone my craft. So it it's Picasso inspired and I can sit with Brando and watch Brando movies because mustache parakeets are like sniffers. They just let you sniff them. So yeah, that's the story. Now I have to go into the reptile store and see if they can fit this thing in my Mini Cooper. At first they'll be like, in that? And I'll be like, yeah. And then they'll put it in and they'll be like, oh, okay. Yeah, and I'll be like, it's a convertible, guys. So that is it. A lot of chatting with you. All right, guys, I love you. Don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what you think of the name Brando. Check out my Patreon if you guys want to become flighters and united. I love it. And yeah, if you want a cameo, check that out. If you guys do get any cameos, do me a favor. I didn't write this on my like cameo thing, but I should like film the reaction of the person you're sending it to. Like I love reactions. Like I don't want to be alone. Like where I make a video and I don't see what you guys do with it and how excited the person is that you are giving it to. I want to be involved. Okay. Tag me on Instagram, tag me wherever multiple times. Cause sometimes Instagram tags don't work as far as I've noticed find things later. All right. I love you guys. Bye. Just in case I haven't made clear the benefits of a Mini Cooper convertible. <laughs> this is like, I can take anything home. I don't need no SUV. I don't need no mom van. I don't need anything. Got my little convertible. I'm good to go.